Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to the Forge in this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith. Let's get to the point. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some little arrow heads. Uh, this is one that Luke made, and this is one I made the other day. And I'd never made arrowhead before, and I and I really enjoyed making this little thing. Uh, so uh, that's really cool, and I think it's a great little uh, either show demo thing to do, uh, or teach someone who's never black done any blacksmithing to do. Um, you know, it's, it's just a great project. It's, it's not a very difficult thing to do. Um, it, there's some elements of it that are harder than others. Um, but basically, uh, basically, it's got that little air of history about it. I don't know how accurate these are, historically accurate. Um, but um, it, sort of, it sort of explains what blacksmiths have done in the past, what blacksmiths do now. Gives you some context of forging. I really like it. I think it's a nice little project. Uh, and also, I want to do something at the end to celebrate the fact that we have 4,000 subscribers now as part of the channel. So, uh, at the end of the video, let's have a little chat about that and we're going to talk about all the other things I said I'd do when we got to 4,000 subscribers. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, stick with me whilst I make one of these uh, arrowheads and um, at the end we'll have a chat. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is take about half an inch. put a set down in like so so that's our this is going to become our socket so that's the set down that I've put in it's about uh, 12 mil, I think, or half inch, all right? Okay, then using your fuller, um, uh, your cross peen, what you want to do is start working this. So it fans out a little bit. And the same on this side. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now I've just got a piece of aluminium here. I'm just going to place this on. Oh, where's my hammer? Good job, Dan. So, let's try that again. Place this on here. And I'm going to try and cut this into a fan shape. Like so, and then the same on this side. And I'm just coming from the bottom of the uh, from the bottom of the D set down. To get something that looks a little bit like that. Next cut, I'm just gonna cut this bit off on the top. And then I'm just gonna cut this bit off on the top. So uh, be careful, this will burn very easily. Just. There you are. So now we've got a, like, a little fin shape. I'm just gonna tidy this up a bit and then, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll start rolling this up. So first thing I'll do is I'm just gonna bring this over at a bit of an angle at the back of the anvil here on this far edge and just bring these sides in, like this. And then if we come over this side of the anvil, round that up a bit, make that look nice and tidy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flatten this back out. Okay, I'm just gonna encourage this bit. 
Okay, and then again, right at the back of the anvil, uh, on the so your side of the anvil, and just hold this over at the same angle as the taper, as this tapered point, and then. into shape like that. Okay. Your side of the anvil again. Start taking this centre piece in. This creates a bit of a neck. And also start rolling this end up nicely. over here on my hot cup. Sticking back in the fire. Okay, so using a set of scrolling pliers or um, a pair of thin nosed tongs, if you wanted to, you start drawing a square taper. Watch your arrowhead. So, I'm just going to pop this back in the fire. Okay, hopefully that made sense uh, and do you, um, you know, have a go. And if you do have a go, please take a picture and send it to me. Um, what I would like to do is, whilst we're making the, uh, uh, the leg vice, at, at the end of each episode, I'd like to give some shout outs to some of you guys. And uh, basically, uh, make yourself a little arrow uh, head, an arrow tip, and um, send it to me, a little picture or something. You send it with an email, uh, as in like a JPEG or something like that, and basically, I will put that image up and I will give you a shout out to say uh, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for making a little error ahead and taking part in the 4,000 subscriber challenge. Um, that would be grand if you could do that. Um, this is coming. I will be making leg vice very shortly. Um, I've got to get in contact with a couple of the lads who are going to help me. I've got um, some of the student lads are going to come and give me a hand. I think Dan's going to come and give me a hand. Um, it is his final part of his year for his third year though, so maybe Dan might not be giving me a hand. Um, and then I've got a sub coming down to help and I've got to speak to Big Jobs yet about the screw box. But basically, anyway, there's a few of us coming together to make this. Um, I'm doing the majority of the forging here and the machine is getting done off site and then it's all going to come together. Hopefully, um, I will make the measurements and drawings available to everyone. So if you want to have a go at making your own as well, uh, you can because there will be drawings. Uh, whether or not you're that stupid, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel pretty stupid undertaking it. It's going to be a hell of a project. Uh, it's going to use a drive shaft and a half 
which is um, 40 kilos or 88, 88 pounds, something like that. But that will be coming very soon. It will be a three part and I will make it over three days and hopefully I'll be able to, um, if we do, if we structure it properly, it will probably go video, then the next day, sorry, uh, making next day video, then you know, making next day video, making next day video. So hopefully the videos will come out a day apart-ish. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the plan anyway, but life doesn't always go to plan, unfortunately. Um, apart from the fact that I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has um, helped by putting input into the channel, either contacting me via email or, you know, on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, um, you know, or sending me, putting comments down below or being a Patreon or any way you've supported the channel, thank you. Um, genuinely feel like I'm, you know, I'm part of a bigger thing here. So, and I want it to keep growing like this and I want to be able to interact with you guys loads and loads and loads. I have encouraged you to get in contact and make contact with me uh, and I try my best to get back to everyone as quickly as possible. Um, in fact, I, I, don't, I know lots of bigger guys who, um, who just do the channels and they've got you know, 10,000 subscribers, that's when they start saying that they're struggling to get in contact with people but I don't know, for some reason I seem to have lots and lots of messages all the time and I'm really struggling to keep in contact with you guys. I apologise, I'm not ignoring you and I really, really do read all the comments, it's just whether or not I can get back to you or not. So keep the comments coming, keep talking, keep being part of this community, I love it, I hope you love it too. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything really, so thank you for being a subscriber. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, I, I enjoyed making these. Take pictures, send them to me, chuck uh, anything down in the comments for this one. Um, yeah, uh, I, think that's, I think that's what I want to talk about uh, in this video. Um, the second lot of Damascus is here from, Big, uh, from Tim from Big Dog Forge. Um, I've got a customer coming up next week for a course. Uh, well, not really a course, he's just coming up to do some extra blacksmithing with me and he's asked to do some Damascus steel, um, so we are going to do that. I'm not turning into a channel that just just does Damascus. I promise. Uh, he he just wants to do some, um, and I'm quite interested. So we've bought some steel for that. So I've got some EN uh, EN 42J and some 15N20. Uh, that should be here Monday, I hope. Um, and then some other bits and bobs are going on and yeah, basically it's gonna be really exciting because I've got lots of stuff coming up for you guys to enjoy. The leg vice, the books, uh, this course thing that's coming that's gonna be really exciting. I am gonna be doing more kits. I'm, what else are we doing? T-shirts will be coming. Um, I'm gonna do this horseshoe thing. We're gonna make a ridiculous bottle opener. Um, any other guys, any other projects that you want uh, to see me do, um, I'll be doing it. Uh, yes, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this video for you. Um, and I try and make them as often as possible. Um, remember, if you did like this video, to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because my subscribers are great. Um, if you are a subscriber, remember, ring that bell for notifications. It will tell you every time I make a video. If you like the videos and you want to keep seeing them, ring that bell because it tells you when they come out. Um, leave your comments down below, tell me what you thought of this video, tell me what you think of me, tell me what you think of the channel, tell me what you think about the stuff I was talking about. Thank you for joining me, I'll leave a link to the 2000 subscriber challenge and the 1000 subscriber challenge. This is a link to my Patreon and this here is the subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining me, see you later guys, bye bye.